All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm C.B. Harris, and I'm here at Warrior's Edge Armory with Yoki Marks. Today we're going to take a look at a couple of shotguns here, semi-autos for home defense. Um, we've got a couple of good shotguns here. Uh, let's, let's talk about these, Yoki. What do we have? Well, what we're going to be looking at today is the SAR Arms 12-gauge um, semi-auto, and we're going to be comparing it with the Mossberg 930 SPX 12-gauge semi-auto. They got a, a similar look and feel to them. I'm yeah, sure. they do have. It's a very similar look. Um, both of them pistol grip. Uh, both of them have the rail on the top with the uh, rifle style rear sight and front sight. Mossberg has extended tube, while the SAR arms doesn't. Right. But a lot of people out there are probably wondering, what is SAR? Where are they made? Who makes them? Are they quality? Um, and I know you were in Turkey for a while, yeah, and you had the opportunity to learn a little bit about Turkish shotguns. Turkey is, they actually take a lot of pride in their shotguns. Um, you know, they were really well known for over and unders and, uh, you know, side by sides and things like that. But they've really got into the semi-auto and the pump market in a big way. And a lot of the, a lot of the big names that you've heard of and probably shotguns you've seen, you may not know it, but they're probably made in Turkey. Um, uh, I know a lot of CZ shotguns are made in Turkey. Uh, it's just you, you really have to do some research. Maybe look at the site. It's going to tell you where it was manufactured, but Turkey actually has a long history with making some really good shotguns. And SAR Arms has been making firearms since the late 1800s um, and been supplying them to the Turkish military for that whole time. The SAR Arms shotgun runs about $550 to $600, depending on where you're buying it at. And let's take a couple of looks at it, and then we will compare it to some of the, uh, to the Mossberg. This one has a fiber optic front sight, and you can place chokes on it. It does come with a little more aggressive uh, motivational device, as I call it. If someone's a little too close to you when you're clearing your house and you need them to back up, you can poke them with it. And it seems kind of a breaching style where you can jam it into a door. Yes, it is, a, style. It is a breaching style, and you could definitely use it for breaching. It has a nice paddle style charging handle for the bolt, really easy to grab. The stock and the pistol grip feel great. The only improvement that I would like to see on this shotgun is dropping on uh, some type of magazine extension. Right. You can't buy one for it though, right? I mean, they are available. I know it seems like, you know, SAR, who, where am I going to get parts for it? But you can actually get an extension tube for this, right? Yes, you can. The great part is any SAR arm shotgun you're going to be running the Remington 870 parts on it. So, so if you need a new lot, stock lots or... Lots of stuff available because Remington 870 is one of the big boys for, for shotguns. So you should be able to find something, no problem. Exactly. And so great shotgun, a pleasure to shoot, very reliable. Now this shotgun, a lot like the Mossberg we're about to look at, was built off of the Benelli M4 idea. And so if you hold these up next to a Benelli, you're going to see a lot of similarities. Now, if you hold up the price tag next to a Benelli, you'll see a big difference. So. <laughs> yes, you will. You will see a huge difference there. Looking at, like I said, about $550, $600 for the SAR arms, where you're looking at somewhere around $2,000 for the Benelli. Now, when we compare the SAR arms to the Mossberg 930 SPX, you're going to see a couple of minor differences. Um, this is a smooth barrel. You can't put a choke or a breaching device on it. Um, and it has, instead of a paddle style, it has more of a tactical style um, charging handle. Same type of sighting system, fiber optic. The main difference here that turns me away from the Mossberg is the stock. The right. angle of the stock, when you bring it up and you shoulder it, getting that cheek to buttstock weld, you actually have to come up, I'm gonna do this right here on the camera, you have to come up to here in order to get on sights. And as you can see, this is where I usually go, this is where I need to go. It is very, very awkward 
for me to yeah. shoulder this quickly and then look around until I can find those rifle sights. Yeah, it's not something, it's intuitive. It's not just right there. You're going to have to, you're going to have to train for it. And, you know, it's going to be different than other guns yeah. you might have. So it, I think it would be a, an issue for me. If I got that, I might, you know, change out the stock or something else, which I'm sure you can do. Oh, yeah. And you can definitely change out the stock on the Mossberg. And at which point you're looking at about $750 for the Mossberg. Let's toss even another $100 in for the stock. So you add around $850. Or you can go with the SAR arms, looking at $550 for the gun. Need a magazine extension. Then you're looking at in between... 60 and a hundred dollars depending on which company you go through to get it and Now you're looking at about the let's say top in 650 bucks. So you're still saving about 200 to 250 dollars Choosing the SAR arms over the Mossberg, but it really does come down to personal preference, right? I, there's nothing wrong with either of these shotguns really I mean if you prefer Mossberg, there's nothing wrong with with purchasing that but at the same time, don't be afraid to look at the SAR arms because, you know, just because you've maybe not heard of them or if it's, you know, it's made in Turkey, not the United States, doesn't mean that it's not a good shotgun. Um, it's definitely something worth considering and looking at. Exactly. They both take two and a three quarter inch and three inch shells. With a two and three quarter inch, you're looking at about an eight plus one for the Mossberg in its current setup. And you're looking at about a five plus one with the SAR arms. Therefore, the only difference is the magazine tube extension. And like I said, there's a number of companies out there that make right. them for the Mossberg and they can run 50 bucks and on up if you want to go with like a Nordic component. So here's a couple of ideas as far as home defense shotguns, semi-automatic. Uh, you know, we have maybe a little bit more well-known shotgun with the Mossberg and a budget idea and a budget suggestion on uh, this SAR arms. Um, again, don't be dissuaded from the SAR just because you've never heard of them and it's made in Turkey. But if American is your style, there's obviously the Mossberg you could go with. But if you have any questions about either of these shotguns or you have a suggestion for a home defense shotgun, leave it down in the comments section. We'd love to hear from you. All right, guys, so we appreciate you guys watching the video. It's always appreciated when you guys like and share the videos. If you haven't subscribed, click on the subscribe button down below. Uh, every Thursday we have new videos, and that actually brings up a point is next week is the beginning of April. Next week we're starting the new format for our Thursday's Tactical Tip. And uh, what is the format for, for April anyway? Well, in April we're going to be talking about home invasion, defense. We're going to be talking about ways that you can prepare your home to dissuade home invaders from going in, early warning systems, um, some threat analysis, along with the weapons and gear that you should have in your home in order to keep yourself safe and how to use it. Right, and then we're going to we're going to take it out to the range too, right? We're going to give you guys some demonstrations and uh, maybe try out some of the ammo that might be a good choice for uh, home defense. Remember, if you have any topics you'd like to see covered, post them down below. Every month we're going to be covering a topic and we'd like it to be something near and dear to your heart. Right? So April again is we're going to talk about home invasion, some of the guns to consider to use for that home defense against a home invasion, and some of the ammo as well. So anyway, uh, you got anything else for the guys? I got nothing. No. <laughs> All right. Till next time, take care and be safe.